What's going on, beautiful people? It's Marcus back with another video. Hope everybody's enjoying their day. We are back with another editing tutorial. Uh, just how I edit and retouch my photos for our streetwear photography brand, Value Pursuit. Um, this is my model, Amber, my homegirl, Amber. Shout out to her for coming through, helping us out. Just really uh, it came up clutch for us, man. This is one of our most liked pictures on social media and she just nailed that she came in prepared um, she's modeled for us before uh, it was kind of we were all new to it and this second time around we all came prepared so we nailed it this time so shout out to her um, but before we get into this video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit the thumbs up that always helps the helps us out with the algorithm man please hit the thumbs up for us follow us on instagram twitter and facebook and yeah man let's go ahead and jump into it uh, like all my photos i like to uh, have some sort of symmetry to it so i want to straighten it up and you can see this cross beam uh, crosswalk beam up here that's going across so i'm gonna try to straighten it up based on that so i want to start with that let's straighten that up and that looks good there maybe straighten it up a little bit better there we go all right next um i like to look at some presets this is straight out of the camera i haven't done anything to this photo so we're gonna come over here if i don't see anything that really stands out to me then i'll keep it the way it is and just color graded based on what I'm what I'm seeing FTO 5 looks good like I'm not I'm not mad at that but you know what let's not do a preset let's just go with how the picture is right now uh, so I like to start off with my highlights down so I can just like bring in uh, more of the background that's uh, that was washed out and I like to bring up the exposure after I do that just bring up the exposure and that'll bring more of her out in this picture uh, next let's see what we got here um, we're gonna mess with a little bit of the vibrancy and we're gonna bring some more saturation into it just a little bit not too much because we're gonna try to get some separation here in her skin as well as our lips here and uh, let's see here and by doing that we might bring up some, some saturation in the reds so we can and change the hue a little bit so we can bring more of the lips out there All right, so now let's see what bringing the orange will do. I don't want to bring too much orange into it. Unless we're going to turn her skin a little bit darker there. All right, so that's a nice separation in lips and skin tone. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of digging that right now. Also, I want to kind of bring out the whites of the logo because we're trying to sell a shirt so we want to bring that out of course so that's when I kind of bring my highlights back into it just a little bit yeah, not the blacks too much we can leave the blacks alone how does well see I don't want it washed out like this so bring those whites down so we can still have the background and everything else. And again, most of these photos people are seeing on their phones. So I like to bring my sharpness up. So this one's going to be up. So I'm liking this color. And again, when we get ready to retouch this, this photo, you can see some lints on her shirt and places. Uh, stuff like that. We'll clean that up. Um, kind of got some glare on the glasses. We'll clean up. 
Uh, but for the most part, also she did a photo. She, she when we were doing this photo shoot, she actually got down on one knee on the street there, and this is the after effect of that. So we're gonna clean that up when we get it in the Photoshop. Um, but other than that, man, I'm I'm liking this color. I want to separate this blue from the street, the blue in her shorts from the street. So let's see if we can make the street more gray and our shorts just a little bit more blue, just to have that separation in the two. But not too much. And I think we might want to bring the greens out a little bit. So we can see all of that in the background. I'll I'll bump that all the way up. It's not doing much. Uh, let's bring that sharpness back down. Let's do about 80. Okay, that looks good there. Everything else looks pretty good here. I may do an overall bump in the saturation. But we don't want to go overboard with it. We don't want her looking like orange. So that looks good there. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now we'll take this right click and bring this into Photoshop. All right, now we got this in Photoshop. Um, the first thing I am going to do is figure out where are my essentials at. Here we go. We're gonna go through and do our normal healing retouches. So all of those things, those imperfections that we see, um, things like this lint right here, get rid of that right there. And you can be as detailed as you want about this. Um, I, I like to be. So whatever I can, I can see, you know, a little lint like this. Just come through, clean that up. Like it never existed. So... Now, what I'm going to do is make this sizing a little bit smaller on this healing brush uh, because I'm going to start working on like skin and things like that with uh, just really cleaning this up, you know, little things like this, little blemishes will come through and clean those up laugh lines just make it really look as professional as I can and we'll hit the forehead up um, you may see pieces of lint in the hair we'll knock that out too let's get these this glare on the glasses See, we might have to go a little bit smaller to catch that, but then we can always leave that. So let's clean that up. Let's see anything else. Everything else is looking pretty good. Like I said, she pretty much came prepared. She had her makeup on, so that really uh, helps out in the photo process um, so she was good there and we'll go down there to the legs and see if we can clean this part of her knee so that won't be noticeable you know just really clean that up that looks good You know, things like, you know, little dark spots, anything like that. 
just clean it up. And then when you uh, when you zoom out, it'll be like it never happened. Get some of these dark spots here. All right, that looks good there. I'm happy with the way that this looks. So now we'll go into our uh, skin softening. Hold on, I might see something else here. Let's clean up this elbow. Might be an old childhood injury there. Just clean that up. I see anything else? No, okay. So we'll come over here, right click. Let's duplicate this layer. And then it just says background copy. We're gonna command I to invert it. And then we'll go to vivid light on that. And then come up here to filter, blur, gaussing blur. And again, I just want enough detail, but not too much. So this looks like it's enough there. We'll keep that at four. And then we'll go to filter, high pass, and I want just enough blur that you start to see it a little bit. We might keep that at 12. I like that at 12. Oops. We'll go with this. We'll go with 10. 10 is fine. It's, it's You could tell it's blurry. So um, we are going to come down here to background copy uh, and down here to add layer mask and hold down option and click and you're gonna get this black box. Now we're ready to retouch and soften the skin. We're gonna to come to our brush tool. I got it set at 89, 60% hardness. I may make this a little bit smaller. Let's see. We'll probably make this down to about 30. 30 should be fine. And then we're gonna zoom in and just focus underneath the eyes here. You can see us kind of smoothing that area out. And we wanna leave the light areas alone. So we're gonna focus here on the cheek here and get over here behind the eye, the cheek, the chin jawline area we're gonna hit all that up and we're gonna leave this light area alone and get like right underneath the chin and just kind of hit hit up these dark areas to kind of just really smooth this out and I'm gonna get the forehead as you can see it's like really light right here in the middle but here on the outside, we could probably hit the this spots up right here, right here on the outside. Let's get right in here. Nose looks good. I think can hit it up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it. Hit the neck up a little bit, but I, I never really get too much into the neck area. But right here, this all looks good here. And now you see it looks way... This, this right here is not the finished product, but you can see how it just smoothed out the entire area. So what I want to do is bring the capacity down and I'm probably going to do a 60, 60%. And firstly, you see how it looks before. It's at 100% before, and this is after. Before, and this is after. So what I want to do is bring this down to 60%. Yeah, so we still want it to look natural. And that's it. I might bring that down even more because it still looks un 
natural a little bit. Let's do 50. 50 looks good. So yeah, this is the final product. I will, this is probably already on our website, uh, Instagram, our Twitter, Facebook accounts. This is one of our uh, top performing photos. Um, she nailed this pose and I just came through and did my editing. Um, and it looks good, man. I really like the way this came out. Uh, all the way, all the way up and down. This is good. So, yeah, man. Y'all hit that thumbs up if this video was beneficial for you. I'm going to do a lot more of these uh, coming up. And I'll just continue to do these. I, I, I enjoy sitting here and editing the, these videos and um, and doing doing these shots, man. I'm, I'm enjoying the process of... Uh, photography for this brand so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit the notifications bell so you always be notified we drop a video follow us on instagram twitter and facebook and we'll catch you on the next one peace